No, fine. Let's let's keep going. Let's let's just case this whole first floor before we move up to the second floor. I feel like all this is building up to me climbing one of the two layers and going up. Privy, what be in here? What sort of hell must I face? Oh. Huh. Ah. What are you again? You look very familiar, but I cannot place you. Are you the old man in Mount Zuho? Well, I'm gonna pilfer from you just to see what you got. Ray, frisk him. Or Oh god. Not carrying anything. Okay, so. Sorry, I don't get I don't get confused anymore. You had one shot, you shot it, and it didn't work. Welcome to the pain chamber, motherfucker. No, I'm not gonna transform, it's too risky at this point. Identify do. I feel like I. Thanks. Really. Ready? Oh, we fucking got him. We're just boss rushing at this point. It generally feels like Mega Man with somehow less steps. Ooh. What do you want to do? Uh, save, I guess, because I haven't saved in a while, but I also haven't been paying attention to where I've been going, quite frankly. Yeah, it's been a while since I saved. Is there a bed in here? Oh, thank God there's beds in here. Cupid's lie. I got one of those already. The bed. You should be able to rest here. You want to rest? Yes. Okay, so I don't have to go back now. See, exploring pays off. Uh, I don't like the pit in the ground personally. Oh, I was so close, wasn't I? God, I should've just kept walking. Yep, if I had kept going forward when I originally- I would've gotten to the beds. Oh, God damn it. Don't you hate when that happens? I feel like going down is the goal, not going up. So I think I can safely go up. Uh, both of them, both of them have the indication of a dead end, but... Aha! Swallow Eye. Another one? Ray, come here. I'm making you faster. Don't, don't argue. Ah, yes, the woolly mammoth abomination from the Desert of Death. Hey, come on. Lights up. Lights up. Zero miedo. Let's go.
What are you holding? Not carrying, okay. Oh god. Great buddy, I need you to not die on me. Okay, he hits hard. That's not good. Oh, that turns great. Uh, I'm gonna sing war, war and shout and let it all out. Oh, that's good heal. Ready? My, my Twitch reflex is not what they used to be. There we go. Bit of a waste of that heal, but... We have a central base now. So, I mean, it's, it's fine. Hope I got everyone. Electronic lock. Well, I didn't get everyone. Knock, knock. I'm here to kick your ass. Who the fuck are you? I have no memory of fighting a version of you. Oh, oh well. Chicken is chicken. Couldn't steal anything, which means there's something to steal on him. Brilliant stuff, really. What do you got on you? Come on. Hand it over. The longer you take to hand it over, the more pissed off I'm going to be. He hurts. Uh, I need to pick up the pace on stealing this so I can get going. Dang, good thing I have a whole free turn. Thanks, Chain Formation. You're the best. Come on. Ray, help me out. Whatever you have in your grubby little non-existent hands, just hand it over. All you're doing is pissing me off. Oh. I'm sure that can be useful. I can find a use for it.
Okay, Momo, just start. Launch more Thunderbolts at this point. Ready? Which reflexes just ain't what they used to be. Honestly, when, when I was younger, my quick reflexes weren't that good. So, that's why I fucking play RPGs. Ow! Quack, damn you. Come on. Don't make me bust out the dragon form. House of the Turducken. Come on. You fucking damage sponge. And there goes Ray. Well, that's just great. Okay, you know what? Shouldn't have to fucking do this, but I'm doing it. You wanna fuck with me? I'll fuck with you. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Damn it. I tried. Yeah! You know how much MP it keep, takes to keep this fucking form? Jesus Christ. I got Papa. Get up, giant. Fine. You can sit there. Well, this has just become a one on one. Go! Okay. There he goes. That's a, that sounds about right. Yep, you too. We got work to do. Please don't be another boss. Okay, good. But it's another doorway. So.
What was that enemy from? Had to be from pre time skip, because I have no, me I have literally no memory of it. On an hour, great. It's locked with an electronic lock. Ray wouldn't be able to pick it. So there's more up here to fight, is what I'm getting at. Okay. There's more bosses to fight, and I kind of want to fight them. I assume. Let's see if I can't get to him. not worth it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna save in once once and once and for all into the breach, I think, is what I'm gonna do. It's possible that I can't actually fight those wh whoever's in those two rooms. Three rooms. Didn't see another way up there. So I'm sure that's a good sign. I think we know by now that whatever she runs off like that always means trouble. Yes, some kind of blast door. Huh. You're an amazing machine. Do you know that, honey? Attention. Navigator code for highest level functions accepted. Access to library mode granted. Uh, okay. I don't know how I feel about that. We serve the almighty goddess. Before you meet with the holy Miria, please hear our words. Momo load, Momo load your mini nuke launcher. Ray, just be ready to be fast. Well, let's see what happens when I use it on a normal enemy.
Mr. Man's armor is broken. Get him. Holy Myria awaits you ahead. Okay. You wanted me to heed your words, right? Speak and be heard. Before the coming of Myria, the world was dying. The wounded earth was being covered by sand. The very life was being sucked out of its inhabitants. No magic between here and Myria. The grieving Mira used all her divine power to divide the world into two halves. One half being where you are now, the desert of death, and the other, Tefayala, I mean, the world you came from, overflowing with life. Okay, I mean, it seems all right. Look, we just want to have a conversation with her. We just want to figure out why she hates the fucking dragons. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Yes, I know. I know. I know where we've been. <laughs> Please. Two worlds are separated by the vast and violent ocean you call the Outer Sea. Right? What? What does? Which protects your world from the desert? The majority of life that escaped death was taken like yourselves to the other world. Okay. Oh. It is Miriam's desire to protect life, to protect your world. Even a monster's life is sacred to Miriam. Yeah, but not a dragon's life, huh? <laughs> right? Fuck the dragons. <sighs> In order to protect the life she so loved, Miri instituted many forms of safeguards and controls, like genocide? You mean like genocide? Foremost among these is the control of technology. Yep, yeah, cool. Miria makes certain that no dangerous machines, like weapons, are developed. Okay. Miria allows the use and repair of only existing machines, and keeps the study of machines from leading to potentially destructive ends. Ah, my least favorite kind of god. The one that stops its creations from doing things. I'm going to hold off on that for now. Going back to that. Should have gone through the door. Yeah, should have gone through the door, all right. Ray. 
Ina, Momo, Guardian Gar, and Ryu, and my son, my brave strong children, who have crossed the violent ocean in the burning desert. I am Miria. Lady, I've kicked your ass once before, I'll do it again. Oh great, oh great and mighty goddess. We have journeyed far seeking you that we may know the truth. Sorry, don't mind me, just getting something ready. Oh goddess, tell us. Why did the brood have to be destroyed? Yeah, I'm also mildly curious about that. Is there anyone who wishes the destruction of life? I certainly do not. However, the power of the brood was too great. Too great for my small, small world. As you know, right, this side of the world is almost entirely buried by sand. making it almost impossible for anything to survive. Life has been driven nearly to extinction. I wouldn't say nearly to extinction. Have to preserve what little is left. Sure, lady. Whatever you say. I have to save the rest of the world from the danger called the brood. What you're saying is we should just sit back and let you take care of us? Like we were your babies or something, right? Exactly, Ray. Yeah, I ain't gonna fight with... That's not gonna work for me, brother. If I did not hold it back, using the outer sea as a shield, the desert would slowly, inevitably spread across the entire world. If I did not continue to create the machines that I repaired and used worldwide, civilizations as we know it would surely perish. But... Well, we don't have the means now. Someday we might be able to build our own machines. I'm sorry, who's talking? Oh, Ray's saying that. I'm sorry. If the world were covered by sand, your lives would be consumed with the struggle to survive. You would not be able to build anything. Even if you succeeded in creating the machines you needed, can you say with certainty that you would not also build a weapon with which you might also destroy yourselves? Momo? In the past, this world was large, larger than you can imagine. Many people once lived here in Kerjan. But the people fought and quarreled, and the city was swallowed by the desert. I was unable to protect them. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. I will not make that same mistake again. Uh, whatever you say, Galadriel. I will protect you and all the life that is left. I understand what you're trying to say. We are weak and maybe we do need help and protection. And the power of the brood may be smaller to the power that destroyed the city so long ago. But... What are you saying we should do? Are you saying that Ryu must die? Or that he has to spend the rest of his life locked up in some little room? In an artificial world? Like Tipo? No kidding. 
And I don't like the fact that this is all being controlled by you. You're pulling all the strings. I'm just like a little kid, see? You tell me to sit still and it just makes me want to run around more, yeah? Oh, goddess. We have no desire to give Ryo up to you. Or do we wish to see him killed? Oh, God. Yep. Having traveled with him, I can say that I do not believe that the power of the brood is as fearsome and dangerous as you claim it to be. I'm shocked. Nearly the entire world is covered it by in sand, but with Ryu's, with our power working together, then maybe, just maybe. Enough, my children. Yep, you guys bared your fangs at God. I admire your bravery and courage, Ray. Huh, that's not good. There's no need to worry. I will erase your memories of this place and simply return you to where you belong, Momo. Well, there goes my whole team. My strength is admittedly small, but it is all you have to live with. Do you understand, Nina? Well, that's not good. Thank you for bringing Ryu here, Guardian Gar. Your mission is now complete. 